welcome to CNCF Minutes. In this video, we'll be talking about Flux. So Flux is a tool for keeping Kubernetes clusters in sync with sources of configurations in Git repositories and automating updates to configuration when there is a new code to deploy. Flux is a CNCF uh, incubated project. It started in 2017 uh, when Sandbox in 2019, Flux V2, which we'll be talking about today, uh, released in early 2020 and Flux went in incubation as of 2021. So as of today, it can sync from Git. Uh, it can have the image reference updates in the YAML files and notifications, manage help releases and much more. So we'll be talking about more when we talk about the architecture. Before like Flux, let me introduce you, you know, the, the terminologies like what GitOps is uh, and what are, what are the GitOps principles. So GitOps is in a very, very simple terminology, like you have a Git repository, you have uh, your YAML file manifest sitting over there, and it is automatically getting deployed as and when there is any change to those YAML files. So that is kind of GitOps. So what are the GitOps principles? The image source is uh, VBox. Uh, so entire system is described declaratively using YAML files. We'll see that using the custom resources, you can define uh, the Git repository, customizations, uh, Helm, uh, and, and other stuffs. The uh, canonical uh, desired system state version in Git, so it can be Git, GitLab, and, and other systems. Approved changes uh, can be automatically applied to the system, so like changes being applied to infrastructures like Kubernetes, and software agents uh, ensure correctness and perform actions on divergence in a closed loop. Uh, so continuous monitoring of the changes that are happening in the Git, and as and when there is a new change, it is automatically applied to the Kubernetes cluster. Let's try to break it down more. So you can have manifests, you can have customizations, you can have Helm charts, and everything can be stored and defined inside the Git repository. Then you will be having Flux. So Flux will be there sitting in the clusters, uh, which will be connected to that Git repository and continuously monitoring uh, the state of the files and then make changes uh, to the uh, Kubernetes clusters. So Flux can be used by the cluster operators. Uh, you know, they can configure different clusters, like you can have a dev environment, prod environment, and have uh, custom monitoring solutions applied uh, via the same Git repository uh, from for platform engineers, like building a complete uh, continuous delivery platform on the, uh, on the system and relying uh, on the continuous delivery uh, for the app developers. So Flux is built on GitOps Toolkit, meaning uh, it will be having set of custom controllers and Flux basically bundles these controllers together. So there are different custom resources that can be defined and uh, there are different controllers that specifies different piece uh, in the complete ecosystem. So let's see, uh, you know, the, the architecture and how these controllers work together. So say you have the source code, which is there, and then you'll be having the source controller. Now source controller will be getting the manifest in the cl cluster and bundling them as artifacts, which are tars, but, and we uh, create them by creating the custom resource. And then it uh, passes, it, it can talk to the other controllers, which is the Helm controller and customize the uh, controller first and make sure everything is getting synced from the source and getting deployed onto the cluster. Uh, there are other controllers that can be, you know, also installed like the image reflector controller and image automation controller. So image reflector controller, if it is there, it can monitor container registries. And as and when there is a new tag update for a particular image, then the image automation controller will be uh, committing that to the repo. So you can have, you know, as soon as the latest or a stable release of a newer software, then also you don't need to intervene between and there can be automatic updates. For the cluster operators, like you can, I told you, you can have uh, cluster definitions, um, you can have cluster add-ons inside the Git, and you can have a developer or prod environments. And based on that, you can deploy uh, from the uh, Git repository, the same uh, Git repository, you can apply different configurations to different environments. Now let's talk about bootstrapping. So bootstrapping is uh, is awesome using the Flux CLI. So you can use Flux CLI to bootstrap, Git repository, source, customizations, and also you can have Terraform provider, but Flux CLI works flawlessly. So this is a very simple example, like Flux CLI bootstrap. We'll actually do this particular example. It not only configures and creates this, this repository, but also deploys the components in the Flux system so that they can be synced. 
So let's move to the demo. So as you can see, I have created Flux um, CO Kubernetes cluster and I have all downloaded the kubeconfig file. Let's run kubectl get nodes, kubectl get pods. So as of now, we do not have anything related to Flux over there. So now let's bootstrap our Git repository first. So this is the Flux bootstrap command to have a GitHub repository called CNCF minutes and branch main. And this will be the path where it will be kind of creating some of the stuffs. And after it has uh, created these, it will be pushing those components to using my GitHub credentials. And also it will be installing a lot of components in the Flux system namespace. So the bootstrapping is complete now. And you can see um, just a simple Flux bootstrap command has done all the magic for us. So now let's do kubectl get pods Flux system. And you can see uh, we have the not notification controller, we have the Helm controller for managing Helm repositories, customization controller for customization and source controller for defining the uh, Git repositories. Now let's see what all things it created inside the repository. So it created the repository, it created uh, some folders like clusters because we defined that. And after that, it created the files, which is uh, the GitOps toolkit components. It, these are the actual Flux components that are deployed onto the cluster. Uh, GitOps sync.yaml, which is the Git repo, which contains the Git repository, which Git repository to uh, sync and uh, the customizations for that. Now let's create the source. So we have created the source uh, Git and pod info from the URL, this and master branch interval of 30 seconds and exported it as a file. Now let's see what is there in this particular file. So it is just a Git repository custom resource in the namespace uh, Flux system and uh, to be synced in every uh, 30 seconds. Now let's push this particular file into the Git repository. Now let's create the customization. So it is the customization uh, on the target namespace and the path and some other parameters. So this is again the custom resource. And in the spec section, we have defined all the parameters. Push that. And now if we do Flux customizations, we can see the uh, the Flux system, which was done, uh, which was applied uh, initially during the bootstrapping. And now we have the pod info customization also applied. And we can see that in the default namespace that the pods have been deployed. Now let's update our Git repository and see if it automatically syncs. Adding a patch to do the minimum replicas of three it is pushed to the main repository so we can see that the flux customizations is uh, ready so if we cube ctl get pods we'll see that it has scaled to three replicas and the pod is um, running so this is the power of flux uh, you can go to fluxcd.io and see uh, some of the uh, adopters and some of its more features and the deep dive videos if you want the deep dive video, then let me know. I can do a deep dive video as well. This is the repository. I'll put the link in the description and hope you got the gist of what Flux is and what it means in the CNCF landscape and where it fits in the GitOps world. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.